jumpsuits of all kinds. Yeah, you guys kidding me? You guys are really wow. Oh colors. my gosh. I feel like that pink color is like what mine looked like when I first got it. You know, because that was just <laughs> no, so bright. Same thing it. about the green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After like seven, it starts to get a little bit like, ugh. Oh. Yours is really bright. <laughs> JC, can I get Lauren up uh, vocally a little bit? I worded that really weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren up vocally. Thank you. Um, as you guys saw, maybe some of you didn't see, but Jacqueline delivered me this sweet Oh, I totally did not. Oh my God. Our tour manager, I forgot it downstairs, but what am I going to do with that? <laughs> anyway, um, we're Trisdale. We're so happy to be here. This next song is Country Vibe, so get your boots ready for this one.
there she is, right there. Yeah. One and only. Spent probably over 400 hours in her room, over a cardboard box, filming little pieces of paper in stop motion. Yes. Though, so in all seriousness, she made a very beautiful music video for our song, Smart Iowa. Thanks, man. Yeah. You guys should all go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. We're so proud of her. Thank you. And her creative vision. It's very sweet. And here is the song. No. 
All right. How many of you guys have seen us do a cover before? Okay, okay, few people. We're always surprised. We always think that like most people know us from our covers, but then you know, it's it's nice. People know us from our originals too. So sweet. So we've grown since we were doing covers. I know, I know. It's like it's just yesterday, but it's kind of a lot of this album. We've been playing out live for so many years before we cut out the album. Yeah. So like this song, actually, the one that we just played. We didn't ever play live, so it's it's so cool to hear you guys singing the words to that one. Yeah. Yeah. That was fresh, fresh for this tour. Yeah, it really is. It's been fun. Um, so every song on our new album, Out of My Mind, is co-written, co-produced by the three of us, except for one song, which is coincidentally also by the three of us, but it's by a band called the three of us. Not the three of us. Which, let me tell you, gets confusing after a while. But the three of them <laughs> are a band consisting of Rabel, Maddie Diaz, and Jamie Floyd, all incredible singer-songwriters. You should go check them out. They also have solo projects. And they have this side project called The Three of Us, and that they've had music out under for a while. And they have this song that the three of us started listening to in college, and the buzz. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the three of Quinn, Quinn, Laura, and Georgia. Yeah. Um, we started listening to in college, and I feel like it's very few and far between that you hear a song that really just stops you dead in your tracks. And I think this was one of those for the three of us. None um, other than the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> and so we just had to cover it for our album. And um, yeah, here's for months now.
I've been leaving them for months now. And then maybe like there's something like living in the city somewhere. <laughs> And I like took my guitar. I just 
took my guitar off and it was like I was wearing a tank top and like thank god it was patterned because it was literally like this entire just like a right quadrant just just like I jumped in a pool but just my right side <laughs> um speaking of wet I just have to say <laughs> My fanny pack has a little bladder in it, but it's punctured somewhere, and I don't know where. So, it's wet, and it's leaking. It's been like that for like a week now. You I just ordered a new one. Oh, I've talked about Oh, she said it. I've been playing with that. Every time, it's like, oh, my bladder's leaking. <laughs> yeah. But it's better than my actual bladder leaking. Yeah. And that we can be also. Yeah. So, if you guys just see wetness here, it's just my fanny pack. It's starting to drip. I'm not having a baby. Okay, fine. I also peed my pants, okay? Honestly, that's nice to know. I could yeah. just say that and then just go. Yeah. Or just go for the rest of the show. Okay, idea. Um, okay. How many of you guys, this is your first time seeing us? Welcome! We love you. Thank you for coming. Um, we also want to open the floor for kind questions. But first, we have to answer some questions. We, get, we have some frequently asked questions that we want to cover before people oh, ask questions. Oh, I thought I always forget this bit. Okay, a couple of things that people often ask of us is that, are we sisters? No. Are you guys um, related? No, same thing. And then a lot of the times, something that people will just say to us is, you're a lot shorter than I thought you were going to be. So we take that as true, number one, and then also I feel like we're maybe letting people down a little bit because we end up being shorter than expected. But also, it feels like a bit of a compliment as well. Like, people think we're really tall. Like, but we're short and mighty. And we're short and mighty. Totally. And now's the time where I'm Well, the yeah, last and thing, the last thing. Just one more thing. <laughs> the last yeah. thing is that the colors were an accident. We didn't intentionally dress up as the Powerpuff Girls. Although we do love the Powerpuff Girls. It was a sheer accident. And now I would like this... This, whoever wants to answer a question. Yes, yes, question. take it away. What was your question, sir? Live album, maybe? Oh, oh. live album! Answer to be determined, but I like that idea. Yes? I just first told one woman that I had this thing that sucks for Amazon, baby. <laughs> Ocean. Damn. Whoa. Damn. Oh, well, Lauren says Gwen. I've been doing the Gwen Stefani blue gel thing, and it's really nice because I just I just tap it on there, and it's pretty much it. And Quinn, yours is the Halsey one, right? Halsey. Yeah. And then other random cheap things that I found too. And then little jewels to make it look better when it looks yeah. bad. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's like pink. It's good pink. Tap one more. <laughs> you already, you already, yeah. What's been your favorite place? What's been your favorite place? On the tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Richmond. But yeah, besides Richmond. Yeah. 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 Um, Philly was fun because that was RC's hometown. And they were pretty rowdy, to be honest. Um, and. <laughs> and uh, Minneapolis was also pretty, like, hype. Yeah. 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 They've all every, been every place is amazing. Every show Honestly, has a little special. Everyone's to very it. cool. Every place is amazing. Woo! 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 Alright. Oh. So Bracelets? What? Thank you guys. This is so nice. So beautiful. Cool, maybe. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, sorry. We're, Thank sorry you so much. Thank you guys. Know. So sweet. Let's, uh, well, let's get this party song. back up and running, shall we? This song is called Sometimes.
It's already it's our third time this year oh being gosh, here. Yeah. It's our third time being in Richmond this year, which like no other city. We've had so much fun literally every single time. Um, we will. 100%. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. So kind of you. <laughs> Gifts all around. Just getting a little bit more into the here. Hey guys. 
Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> I knew you were going to take it that way. I had my eyes closed. I was just in the moment. Yeah. Oh, but hey, guys. Too. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> we got a bad XLR up here. Rut row. It's a yet. Here's oh. the bad. Happening. Totally. Cha -cha -cha. Yeah. Let's see if it. If you just don't touch it for the song. Just don't touch it, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're, we're gonna get that fixed. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna stall. We're gonna stall while this cable gets fixed. <laughs> Here it comes. Stall. But this is the perfect time to talk about this song. We started writing this song actually when we were opening up for JP Sachs. Yeah. 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 Hey guys. Whoa. Yeah, we started writing this song. Um, when we were opening up for J.P. Sachs in 2022. Huh? Oh, no, no, it just sounds different. We had a different mix, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we started writing this song then, and I remember we were, we were in a hotel room after doing the show, and I feel like we were having kind of a moment of just thinking, like, People. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alex is wrong. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, that's it. Nice. All right, Lauren, give us the story now. Oh, Take okay. us back to yeah, the hotel room. Yeah, yeah. JP Sachs. <laughs> Probably in Chicago. No, we were in Salt Lake City. We were in Okay, we just opened up for J.P. Sachs, and I was feeling very reflective just about, like, the role of, mu of a musician and, like, being on stage. It's kind of like a weird thing, you know? Like, here we are. Whoever, like, decided that we'd be, like, on an elevated platform with microphones, like, singing songs with people, it's kind of like a weird thing when you think about it. But, I mean, I started doing music because of what music has done for me. I feel like it's healed me in so many ways. It's made me feel like I'm not alone. And that like I'm being seen when no one else can see me. And I always come back to music. I try to do music in a way that gives that feeling to other people, hopefully. And so we kind of wrote this song with the idea of like, if we were the ones in the audience, what, would, what message would we feel like we wanted to hear? Would we be wanting to hear in the crowd? So, this one is for you guys. Have you ever been afraid of something you don't have? Been scared to start cause you don't know the end yet? Like the cards in your hand but you don't want to play or the words in your head that you don't want to say. Back to the mirror cause you don't know what you'll find 
When you're barely hanging on, there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Give yourself a little time to
It's not, we're not leaving yet. that time, it's a different time. This is Jacqueline again. And, yeah. So, yes, we've been doing this thing on tour where when we play this next song, we invite one of you guys, if you would like, to volunteer. You can't volunteer your friend, you have to volunteer yourself. Um, to come up here, sit on this lovely stool, get a free hat, and be tonight's movie star. was like, please raise your hand, Kim. Because it's really difficult to choose because everyone's so awesome. So, um, yeah, if you guys know the words to Movie Star, please sing them to Kim.
it's always so nerve wracking to pick someone because you, you don't know if people are going to be like uncomfortable. Okay, I'm just absolutely slay that. <laughs> So I feel like movie stars. Yeah. yeah. We also all deserve to make ourselves feel good. Yeah, yeah. True. Right? True. Even if we sometimes have to lie to ourselves about what we're doing or whether it's working or not. Because if sometimes if we tell ourselves that something is working, that means that it is, you know? So they call that the placebo effect. If you're doing something that's for yourself, for your happiness, no matter what people tell you, it's not real or it's stupid. Yeah. It's real. If, if you're feeling good from it, it's real. So this next song is called Placebo. <laughs> Georgia, wait, stop. <laughs> like, like that. Stop. Like that. Ow! Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm fine. You're fine though, right? But I am sad. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. No. Right, guys? <laughs> right? Because this is our last song. <laughs> but one of Quinn's <laughs> best talents is winking. <laughs> 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 
It's a not a good wink. I, I feel like you have a really I can't, good wink. I need to be like discreet. Like Lauren's good at that. Lauren does a quick one. I'm good at the like. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no. My favorite, one of my favorite things about you, Lauren, is that, yes. that sometimes the lowest of the low, she'll just whack you like a, you're like, oof, and then she'll be like. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Just you know, sound I feel known. like it keeps me okay. like, it keeps me like. Goofy? Yeah. Yeah, it's trolling. Like, okay, it's not, not exactly. Yeah, yeah, you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. Okay. The way that I aspire to wink is how like, like, a, like an old person, like you would think like they're just so serious and they're just like staring at you yeah. and then all of a sudden <laughs> you just get one of those like so quick and you're like, what's happening? They're just so <laughs> close to death that like nothing matters. <laughs> we all know, we all know. Yeah. Have a, have so then a, Quinn starts to have some really dark humor there and I just love that about Quinn. So I'm just thinking specifically like very, very, very old person, I guess. Not hey. like, anyone we know. Okay, this is an awesome song, guys. <laughs> it's just about, you know, forgiving yourself, letting yourself make mistakes and say stupid things. Sometimes. And wink. After. And wink. Stupid. After. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just knowing things, Georgia. Georgia's got my back. Um, Georgia's got my back. Knowing that you have the time, you know, to like keep doing what you love, even if like you make a mistake one day. There's always tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't know we're gonna do a tap dance for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah guys, this is the title track of our album. And I'm just with us. It's called Out of My Mind.
all of you guys look so pretty. Um, okay, we're gonna do a very new one. Yeah, it's not released. Um, and like, was that a boo? That was a boo. George was ready to pounce. I was like, oh god! <laughs> Did somebody say boo? I think the only reason I said something was because you're like, and I was like, <gasps> it was practically a scene from a film. Totally. That'll be what our next song is about. Anyway, take it. We already have one. Movie star. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this song, it's called Don't Tell Me. And, um... I'm crawling up out of the black hole. I'm stepping outside of your shadow. I'm learning to live with the unknown. I'm trying to outrun the echo of me and you I'm scrapping your songs from the playlist I'm singing the ones that you hated You think that I'm yours for the taking Oh, but I'm taking back all that I gave up three women in the music industry, I think it's easy for us, for it to be expected that we are not competent in our craft and that we need explaining about how to do things and it's expected that we have all the help with everything that we do um, in like most rooms that we walk into. So I think it's been really important for us to like have either fully be writing and producing everything, just the three of us, or have a very heavy hand in it when we collaborate with people. And I think if there's something that you are passionate about and you're afraid that you're not good enough to do it, if you are honest and you love what you do, people will resonate with it no matter what. Because like we're all human 
And I think that the way that this song has touched people is, it's the human part of it. It's something that's just real um, and universal. So like, go, go for what you guys want to do, even if maybe it's not like what people like you are normally expected to be good at. If you love it, do it. Like the old man in the sun. 